All right, here is the same circuit as before. This is the uh, MOSFET airflow sensor. If I cool that uh, thermistor with a little bit of air, you can see that the bulb gets brighter and when it warms back up the bulb gets dimmer. This is because we're using a negative temperature coefficient thermistor in a small feedback loop to control the gate voltage of the MOSFET. When the thermistor is warm, the gate voltage is low. When the thermistor is cold, the gate voltage is high, and it turns on the drain source channel of the MOSFET. But we're in the linear uh, conductance region of the MOSFET, so the MOSFET's acting as an amplifier, not as a switch. Okay. Alright. Now the other thing that I have over here is the output leads of the F43 function generator. And the F43 is set to produce a sine wave signal about 1.5 megahertz and I've got the attenuation still a little bit of room left on the attenuation to turn it up there and I have the same kind of a bulb here that I have in, in that and if I can jiggle things around with one hand stay still Still, this is worse than trying to pick a chick off a dog. Uh, all right, if I can manage to hook that up, I think you can see that that bulb glows nice and brightly from the AC output at 1.5 megahertz from the F43 function generator. Okay, right. All right. Now I'm just going to leave the black lead connected, and now of course I can't get disconnected. I'm out of there. Okay, so we'll leave the black lead connected to the bulb, and I'm going to disconnect the gate of the MOSFET there by removing the jumper from that little gap. So of course the bulb goes out. Now I'm going to apply the red lead of the function generator to the gate of the MOSFET. I can get it to stay on there. Like that. Okay, so the red lead is on the gate. Come here, you. The red lead's on the gate of the MOSFET. And the black lead of the function generator is on the bulb. And now we can use the bulb as a probe to see what happens. So if I take the probe and I touch it to the gate lead there, we're just making that same circuit again, right? So that's just the function generator driving the bulb directly, okay? Now if I touch the bulb to the drain pin of the MOSFET, which is also actually the, the middle pin, Now I'm turning the MOSFET on, of course, with the function generator signal. So the MOSFET controlled bulb lights and also the test bulb lights. What about if I touch the source, though? Same thing happens, right? We get the test bulb lighting and the MOSFET bulb lighting. Well, that's okay, you say. You're applying a voltage to the gate of the MOSFET, and so it should be turning on, right? Well, get back on there and it popped out. What about if we just remove the power from the MOSFET, and we remove the load from the MOSFET? Now, let's see what happens. We probe the drain.
and we get our bulb glowing. We probe the source and we get our bulb glowing. Gate, drain, source. Okay. So the MOSFET is just sitting there, open circuit, but it's able to pass AC current from the function generator through the bulb from gate to drain and gate to source even though we know that in a functioning MOSFET there's no current path except through capacitance between gate and drain and gate and source. Right? So there's the gate directly there, pretty bright. There's the drain and there's the source. Okay. So now let's put the circuit back together off of there. When I want to hook it on, I can't hook it on. When I want to hook it off, I can't hook it off. Okay, so we we'll put the load bulb back in. Position that thermocouple. Put the gate jumper back on there. Like that. And hook the power back up. bit of tuning, get that just a barely glowing in there. And okay, so we still have a functioning MOSFET. And we showed that with the MOSFET disconnected from its load, its power supply, and the other components in the circuit, that it will pass AC current a substantial amount of it between the gate and the drain or between the gate and the source when it's given a signal uh, from the function generator at about one and a half megahertz. Okay, The capacitance of the MOSFET acts as a fairly low impedance uh, channel for AC current at 1.5 megahertz. My resistor's a little far from the bulb. There. Okay, thank you for watching. MOSFETs pass AC from gate to the other pins without affecting their functioning. Thank you for watching.